Good morning everybody, welcome back to the channel. Hope everybody's doing well. It's nice to have you all back here for another wee chat. It's about, it's about half past seven in the morning here. And we're out for our morning walk. But um, we're going to have a wee chat today about healing from a trauma bond and what trauma bonds are. I'll just show you this beautiful modern house up here. Isn't it gorgeous? <coughs> Excuse me. So let's have a wee look at what a trauma bond is. So a trauma bond is any relationship that causes you harm. It could be a sibling, a partner, a friend, a parent, a workmate, a neighbour, anyone that you have a relationship, but you feel that that relationship is causing you some type of harm. Now, it could be emotional harm, psychological harm, or even physical harm. Not all relationships like this are trauma bonds. So I'll run through something, some things and you can decide for yourselves. Everybody's situation will be different. And only you will know yourself. But I'll give you some pointers so that you can start to think about what type of relationship you are in that is harming you and whether you think it's a trauma bond or not, okay? So in a trauma bond, it's an attachment to an individual. And usually in this bond, you may be getting feelings between love, anger, relief, sadness, anxiety and it's made you feel very vulnerable it's made you feel confused and you're not really quite sure about whether to leave this person or break away from this individual or not depending on how long the relationship has been and depending on the severity of it and only know only you will know that and it usually repeats in cycles like this. You know, often with trauma bonds, it's patterns of abuse and neglect. And then there might be just a small sprinkling of relief or love. And that is designed to keep that person in the relationship, to give them just that little bit of hope and take the pressure off. So if you're experiencing anything like that, that is a trauma bond. So sometimes it might not be the first time that it's happened. You will normally see that this is a repeated thing over and over. And even if you want to talk to that individual, even if they promise you that they're going to change and things are going to be different and you talk it through, it doesn't change. It just keeps repeating over and over. Now, breaking the spell. So if you're feeling broken down at this stage, maybe heartbroken, emotionally overwhelmed, maybe have stress, anxiety, it's time to break free. It is time to start becoming aware of why you're staying in this pattern and why and what what's really happening to be honest with you. You know you need to start to take a look at this so that you can break the spell, break this pattern. Because in a sense, it is a spell. It's a type of psychological spell. So it's time for you to take back control of yourself 
and it's now time to start to practice self-care and self-love. You want to see your pain that you're in and start to give that love back to yourself. The love that you've been given away to someone who doesn't deserve it and who's been taken advantage and you need to then bring that back and start giving it to yourself. Start to choose you. Even though they don't. Okay? So, acting on your own behalf is the first step to changing and breaking these patterns. Although it may be difficult, it can be very difficult depending on how long this person has been in your life, what they've meant to you, especially if it might be a family member or a childhood friend or a partner that you've had for a long time. You know, it will be difficult, but you can do it. What I would start to ask myself would be, think how you would treat yourself if you loved yourself, if you felt worthy, if you felt that you deserve better. So start to ask yourself those questions. Don't beat yourself up. No self-criticism. Be gentle with yourself and realize that it's one step at a time. It might take a while, but once you start to break that pattern, that is you on the road to recovery, the road to healing, and the road to bringing all that love that you've been given away to someone who does not deserve it back to yourself. Talk to someone that you can trust someone you can open up to about what's been happening. Tell them what you're planning to do, what your next stages are, so that you can get that support that you need. And that alone will bring you huge relief, knowing that someone is listening, someone is caring, and someone's got your back. You know, and that's very important. You don't want to do it alone. Don't be afraid to ask for help. Now, if you do feel like it's maybe going to be a bit harder, depending on how your self-esteem is, depending on how your confidence levels are, you can go and talk to a therapist. There are specialist therapists out there that deal with trauma bond relationships. They're very specialised in it. And they can help you to start to look at why you're going into these patterns. You know, often these things stem from our childhood. It could be that we'd suffered some sort of trauma in our childhood. And it creates a cycle. Sometimes we're not even aware of it, that it's creating a cycle. So if you need help, go. They will help you talk it through. That will give you that relief. They'll help you to see that it's not your fault. It's nothing to be ashamed of. We all want to be loved. We all want to have attachment. And it's a very natural thing. But when it becomes unhealthy, is that's when we need to start paying attention. The first step is acknowledging it for what it is, asking for help, and then breaking that spell. And a good therapist will help you to break these patterns and see where they came from and understand and then moving forward. You won't go into these relationships again. You'll be able to spot them and you'll be able to say no. And remember, 
you are worthy. No matter what you're going through, no matter what's happening in your life, there's always a way forward. There's always a way out. You just need to take that step. Create a plan, take the step, and get on the road to recovery. All right, and start practicing that self-care, good diet, exercise, plenty of rest. Until the next time, take care.